Welcome back. By closing the uh, wark-shaped chimney, we have revealed a hole in the water here. Because the steam, or smoke, I actually don't know, uh, is escaping through here now. Through this door that we've seen before, but is now open. Probably gets pushed open by the pressure or something like that. Or perhaps it's a mechanism attached to the chimney. The fish are still swimming facing downward. I guess that's just what they do, and it's not a glitch. I guess that makes sense, considering how they're depicted in the symbol. It is just a little bit of a weird... Uh, are, are these works? Sorry, I just got distracted there. These are kind of work-based, aren't they? The seem to be a little... They seem to be places to tie up a boat. But they are definitely somewhat work-inspired in design. Missing the tusks, though. But yeah, apparently, um, Rivenese fish just swim f with their face pointed towards the ground, for some reason. Let's not question it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd really like to check that out. Um, but I can't get there. If only I wasn't so hydrophobic. Would be a lot easier. But this is a uh, station, stopping point, whatever, for the for the submarine. So let's try to move it there and see if that can accomplish something. We should actually turn the sub around just to make our life a little easier and this journey a little shorter. And this is where we're going. You can also see now that the uh, places we went before, the uh, gallows and the school are no longer lit up. We've also seen that their gap in the water closed as the heating element cooled down, so I think that that's what's indicated here. The uh, door was pretty clearly visible through the sub window as well. So if you hadn't noticed there might be something interesting there before, you might notice it while moving around. Um, water is not entirely gone, is it? That's supposed to work like that. We can now go down this ladder. Which is not just for climbing out of the... Uh... Oh, it's just... I guess maybe it was just the reflecting light that made it look like that. I guess this ladder's not just for climbing out of the water. I mean, in a sense it still is, but... You get my point. Oh, this... The shadow pattern is being made by the by the um, the platform above. That's pretty cool looking. 
god rays as well. Anything special to observe here? Don't think so. No. Um, get a nice look at those heating elements we uh, could see from afar before. I wonder if that's similar to the rings in the water for the the wood cart. This would be so weird to just stand next to a wall of water like this. <laughs> Could just walk into the water. Stranger is not willing to do that. I would at least be sticking my hand in. In VR, you can kind of stick your hand in, it just doesn't accomplish anything. Bubbles are still there, Don't still don't know what's uh, there from. Um, there's our door. That does have, yeah, that's the drawing. Which I guess is supposed to point us towards that chimney, because it does look the same. I cannot get to it, because there's a hole here. And the uh, train is in the way. Oh, that's the... I think that was the gap at the, the center of the lake closing. How does this turn around, I wonder? Is it the track that turns around, or is it this the uh, submarine? Doesn't this looks welded, so it doesn't look like it's the ball turning. Plus, I'm fairly sure if you turn it around, then the light on the bottom, the light on the bottom is not uh, here. So it has to be the the whole track that gets spun. Um. Anyway, yeah, that whole closing uh, is a good reminder that uh, they don't immediately close. So if we were to move the uh, uh, submarine back somewhere else, we might be able to walk around. And be here in time to go down. Yeah, we can see that that light now has also gone off. Let's turn around again to make the trip shorter. There's really um, two places you could do this from. From the center or from the, the school. I guess technically you could do it from the prison if you wanted to go all the way around through the, the secret exit. Uh, but obviously the center of the lake is going to be closest here. And since we are on a time limit, that's uh, rather important. Alright, light's still on, so we still have a hole there. That is looking good. It's not very far to walk, so we should be good without rushing. Let's see if we can... I don't know, That it just looks weird. I'm not sure if that's a glitch, or what's going on there exactly. Because it looks nothing like that if you get closer. Um, 
We can walk here. We cannot walk on top of the heating element, which is probably for the best. Some aquatic life on the bottom of the rocks here, visible. They're probably not very happy by their water supply being taken away like that. Um, here's our drawing and the moiety knife. We sh and there's also a handle there, but we should probably go inside before that turns off. Um, I don't know if this is steam or smoke. Either way, I'm betting that was hot. Um, okay, looks like we found a cave. What the? Excuse me? Oh. If you walk through here, it shuts. Which temporarily prevents us from... anyone else from getting here, I guess. Alright, well... That's not, uh... What was that? It already shot. Steam comes out again, so we can escape, but... Uh-oh. The heating element. It turned off. We're trapped here. That's a problem. Although I did mention this uh, switch, and it seems to be connected to the heating. So, let's try that. It worked! Yeah. The switch is a way to turn this on without the uh, submarine needing to be here. You can switch it on before you go inside, uh, in which case this will just stay on. But then you wouldn't get to see this happening, so that's why I did that. If you stand too close to here, even if you're just standing in the door where logically it shouldn't be a problem, uh, the game will just teleport you back up out, uh, to the, the walkways rather than letting you drown, I guess. Which is why I couldn't really find a way to show you the gap closing up. You kind of, the only way to make this work is to be in the cave when it happens. Otherwise, yeah, you just get teleported and you don't see it happening at all. Nor do you get a chance to flip the switch while the hole is closed. This is just the door shutting and that little part going away. The big hole is still there as long as the switch is flipped, I do believe. And it seems like we have another um, cemetery totem. And this must be the uh, chimney which is now open, which I guess is a good thing. Otherwise it would be very dark in here. I just to wonder how, like, if all of this stuff was left behind to help new recruits find the moiety, I just to wonder how they expect you to get down here, because a typical Rivenese would probably not have access to the submarine. Although I guess typical Ravenese might be um, less afraid of water and would just swim, I guess. Would I go swimming in a, in a salt water lake that has works in it? Hmm. I don't know. 
it's at least an option, I guess, or they could just drop down into the hole from the from above as well. So yeah, definitely some options to get here yeah, without the submarine in real life. We were bound by the rules of adventure games, and that means no swimming. Unless you're in Uru. Um, or you manage to type swim fast enough. Alright, we have a totem. Well, that is almost correctly oriented already. That is uh, number one, I do believe. The first time I've played uh, that the fish symbol was not number one. In my other playthroughs preparing, and my original playthrough, um, it was always the fish that was number one. This time it is not. Anyway, let's take a picture of this. Um, and just for completionism's sake, um, I always forget that these are ordered reverse. We will annotate it as being uh, the underground cave totem. And there has to be a symbol near here. You'd expect this symbol to be the fish, considering it's like almost under the lake, but... Oh! It's in the... chimney. I guess we saw there was paint in there from above, so that makes sense. This was another one that's kind of funky to get the orientation right in VR, because it really isn't possible here to uh, like look at it from the raw, or like upside down and still get the whole thing in in view. But uh, in VR, you can kind of do that. Um, so we have our final symbol. Actually, no, we don't. We're still missing one. Um, it's the final totem, because we know we need six. But um, we still haven't seen the symbol from the the water pool near the entrance of this island. Anyway, we can still take a picture of this. What animal is this, I wonder? Kind of looks like a butterfly? That would certainly make sense. We've seen quite a lot of those. Plus, they are intimately linked to this whole um, invisible paint animal puzzle thingamajig. Um, all right, we need to go out again. Is this automated or is there just a Rivenese person who is letting us in and out uh, that we j someone we just can't see doing this for us? I don't really see any mechanism by which this is shutting. I mean, there might be some kind of pressure thing hidden in the floor. Don't know. We don't have to worry about this turning off, because, yeah, we flipped the switch, and that will stay flipped. Okay, that gives us five of the uh, six symbols. We are still missing one. And it, it's not very hard to brute force it from this point, obviously, if you're missing one, like if you're missing this one, because this is the hardest one to find, especially for people who've played the original when that wasn't there, and especially if you, like me, didn't immediately notice that you could interact with the chimney. If you're only missing one, yeah, it's pretty easy to brute force the solution to the puzzle, which is kind of nice, I guess. But we want to do this properly. We 
We know that the uh, symbol we're missing is number um, six, I think it was. Therefore, the last one. But we don't know what symbol it is. My original theory was that uh, redirecting water to the tree might drain it away from that cave so we could stand where the pool was and um, uh, see the paint on the ceiling from the correct angle, but that has not panned out. The water for the tree comes from the water tower. Don't think it has anything to do with the water that's dripping, dripping into the cave. Can you hold still so I can see if you look like the symbol? I can't really get a good enough angle on any of them, I don't think. Maybe, how about you? No. We're just gonna assume that's a butterfly. Oh, interesting. The railing is... has wooden reinforcement and is then caked with mud. Which has been, uh... scraped off here. Presumably to bring these plates over here. I actually don't know. I want to go back in my videos and check if this was already like that when the, uh... before the breach was covered. This is a proper hole in the path where you're meant to go off it, but here not so much. Alright, so we gotta go back to uh, the little cave and figure out what to do. There. Like I said, the reason I am doing it this way is because this is true to life to my first play uh, playthrough. Um, here it is. So... We got paint on the ceiling. And unless it's meant to be a jellyfish, I really don't think that uh, this is the right angle. Also, there's a little bit of glowiness happening, but uh, not hmm. Yeah, the sort of want to say it. it's not quite glowing in all the way to indicate that we're looking at it from the right angle. Um. I do want to go over there, though, but I can't. The only other thing we have here is this. Which drains the basin and it stops it from flowing in. Wait a second. It stops the water from being turbulent. Try this. There we go! Did I actually get it? I think I did. Yes! It is the Wark, as we might have guessed. I do believe this is always number six, the final one. For reasons that make sense if you look at the cave. So yeah, the way to see the symbol is with the reflection in the water allowing you to see this paint from the right angle. Oh, and the thing actually does glow if you look at the reflection. Even if you can't make out the symbol. Like I said, for me, this, the glow did not happen in VR. I've heard some people say that it does happen in VR. I didn't never noticed it in any case. So that I didn't have this to help me notice the reflection. I did figure this out on my own when I came back here. 
and felt pretty good about it. Okay, now we have... Uh, all six symbols, meaning we can return to the uh, pizza cutter still here. Uh, we can return to uh, the animal symbol room. Which, come to think of it, that would be the hardest thing to find. Like, if this is meant to recruit new people, how do they get to the... How do they get to the... to the link room? They would either have to find the... Uh, the side entrance here, and as far as I'm aware, there are no... Hints visible anywhere for that, even with the uh, the spyglass. Obviously, we can see uh, this. I guess the fact that it doesn't glow tells us this isn't a symbol that we need for anything. This tells you there might be something special about the cave. This and the uh, dagger that kind of blends into the rock. But there's no hint as to the actual combination you would need to open it. And the only alternative, um, I guess, would be to... Assuming, you know, the villagers don't have access to the sub, would be to uh, either swim to the gallows or get thrown in to prison and then escape. Either way, not the best of, of options, I would think. Um, let's remind me myself of the combination. It's the first one on the right, then the last one, and that one. Is that the first one on the right? I think it might actually be this one. I think I made that mistake last time. Uh, Or not. I guess it is the first one on the right, then. I did make this mistake last time, but I just made it again in the same way. Wait for him to turn off. I don't actually know if you need to wait for all of them to turn off. But I did anyway. Okay, we made it inside. Let's close the door. And we don't want Gen to follow us now. Assuming he hasn't figured out what's happening anyway. If he's watching us. Wait, did I leave that closed or...? Hmm. Don't remember. Okay, here we go. I wonder what all these other animals are, though. We've we've seen some animals, especially fish, that uh, we uh, that you know we haven't seen symbols for, but we've seen other animals than the five, uh, the six symbols. Um, we've heard some animals for sure that we haven't seen. One still can't help but wonder, like some of these look like they might be bigger. This is like a crocodile-like looking thing, or and I guess it could be like the size of a salamander, I don't know. Like a pelican? Whatever that is. Um... So you, you gotta wonder if maybe, you know, some of these animals went extinct because of the decay of the islands and Gen's uh, deforestation of the jungle island. Would not surprise me, that's for sure. 
Okay, let's uh, check our code. So our first symbol, number one, is the underground cave one, which we found out is the butterfly. Um, which should be somewhere there. Then, for number two, number two, anybody want to give us number two? I think that's this one, yes, the cliff wall totem on Prison Island, which is the fish symbol. Like I said, it was number one in all of my other playthroughs, and I kind of wondered um, if that was intentional, since it's, you know, the game logo, but I guess it's not. Number three, I think, is the missing symbol of the jungle totem. And um, that would be... The Sunners. The order of the symbols is random, so if you're following along, you'll have to uh, find your own totems and get the numbers. You can't just do what I'm doing. You will have the same six symbols, but in a different order. Um... Then, we need number four. Where is number four? That's number six. Um, that's five. So that makes the jungle, and therefore our friendly frog, the Itrim, is number four. Then number five is the totem by the tree. So that gives us this symbol, the Beetle. There he is. And then the uh, sixth symbol is the last one we found. And I'm pretty sure this one is always six. Just makes sense to have you facing this way uh, when this when you do this. It is the mighty work. Retreating through the canals in the ceiling and the wall, and it's now pooling on the other side. So, oh, and that is opening up. And has revealed a book. See the wall still wet. Also opened a little light here, shining onto the book. Presumably, when you complete the code, um, it activates some kind of heating behind the wall, making the water want to uh, go that way. Also lowers these front too, so you can walk through here rather than having to walk around, I guess. Seems somewhat unnecessary. What do we have here? Hmm. Nothing to see with the crystal, but actually that kind of looks like our crystal.
It's... Oh. Didn't really mean to do that yet, but I was trying to move the crystal around. I guess I changed how it worked. We used the book. Kind of uh, interesting, though. Why... Uh, is there a crystal on that book? It's not see something we've seen on other books. Before, I'm pretty sure you could move that crystal around freely, and now it just kind of snapped to the to the uh, linking panel. And when I clicked it again, it uh, made me link. This is a very interesting looking location. Which, do you know, if you've seen the box art of the original game, you might be familiar with. Seems to be night. Full moon. Birds flying around. Judging by the windows in that tree, as well as the door, I'm guessing somebody lives there. But again... Can't swim. It's back here, though. Looks like it's an... Effigy of, uh, again, with a lot of... Daggers in him. I think we may have found the moiety. Two gates on either side. Palo! Palo! Uh oh. Yo, Olai! Yo, Olai! Wait, isn't that the prisoner? The guy on the right? I think he may have warned them that were coming, and we passed out. And now okay. I'm on a boat. Heading towards the big tree. out again. Only to wake up in a prison cell, or at least a closed room. This just, this keeps happening. Every time we link somewhere, we get trapped. Getting kind of tired of it. I guess that's where we originated. Looks like there's actually more than one such place. Um, the original game doesn't have the side doors in that room. Um, the the people who ambush you are just kind of waiting in the corner, and the game stops you from finding them by accident because it doesn't let you turn around once you move into that uh, room. Which, of course, it would be a bit weird if they did that in real-time 3D. So they came up with the little hidden alcoves with the, that can be closed off to hide the guards. I assume there must always be at least a guard in there. Just in case Gen or one of his men manages to make it this far, and if a new recruit makes it this far, they would probably want to uh, bring him here safely and interrogate him, make sure he's not a spy of some kind.
What they're gonna do with us, though, I don't know. A little bench or possibly sleeping area. At least like a pillow. I'm not a Klingon. A bowl, but it's empty. Fire marble for light. Door is shut. It is, in fact, even more shut than in the original. Can't even look out into wherever we are. Oh, someone's coming. Katrina e nao da saia yapalo. Yapa ai manai yelepo. Becaretere wira pe yelo ke ne falapo. Ti sai? Why te falupe? Now, Katarina ne. We see for polo ya sepe ya. I have no idea what you just said. Though she may have been referring to Catherine. I heard Katerina. Although it is kind of weird. It's kind of always confused me why she calls her Katerina, considering her native Revenese name is Katron, and only Atres and Gen refer to her as Catherine. Not quite sure. I think this might also be the original voice recording. And strangely, one of the better animated characters in the game. Looks like she uh, dropped off two books. A book back to Riven, I hope. This looks like a... Enter? Okay. Um... Uh, Looks like we put both of them in our satchel. This looks like a notebook. And it is. I write quickly from my prison. Along with this journal, I've instructed Neela to return the book that the Moiety intercepted upon your arrival. After questioning her, I've concluded that it was written by Atris for a very specific purpose. Gen will wish to use it, though he will undoubtedly be suspicious. Once he is out of the way, you'll still need the combination to release me. I'm told he keeps it somewhere in his outpost on 233. Then I assume we're to signal Atris. I think I know how it might be done, but don't attempt it before I'm released. Catherine. Okay. A note from Catherine. From her prison. I guess she has been in contact with the moiety. And she told... Um, Neela, which I guess is the woman we just saw, to give her this journal, to give us this journal, as well as um, the book that they took from us. Is that true? Can it be true? It is true. We have the prison book back. As we were told, it appears to be a linking book back to Dunny, but we know that it's not, so let's not accidentally link there. I wonder whose face that is on the front of the book. don't actually know. Somebody knocking on the door? I don't know. Oh! They opened the door. They opened the door. They opened the door. They opened the door. After 27 years, we finally get to see more 
of this place. Oh hey, you have one of the pizza cutters. Yes, it was always Riven's biggest tease that you could look out through the little window in the in the door, but never actually go out into the big tree. Now they first try to fool you by not even having the window open. But we do get to go out and explore. But I won't, because we have a journal to read. And I will do that in the next video.